hydrating. Since water is the ultimate purification tool, it will enable your body to work optimally, helping to flush toxins and support liver function so that it can effectively metabolize body fat. Drink at least 10 8 ounce glasses of water per day. If you're exercising or live in warmer climates, you may have to increase the amount. Exercise. Exercising as much as possible will accelerate its release exponentially. Good types of fat burning exercises are resistance training and aerobic activities like hiking, running, and biking. Try to do at least 30 to 60 minutes a day. If you're unable to do any of these exercises, walking a few miles a day will help. Diet. As far in advance as possible, modify your diet. Stay away from refined sugars and carbohydrates like sweets, juices, white bread, white rice, and pasta. These are absorbed in the bloodstream very quickly, raising insulin levels which prevents your body from using stored fat as energy. Whereas whole grains like brown rice, whole wheat, and low-carb vegetables absorb slowly to maintain healthy insulin levels, allowing your body to burn fat. But since you really want to burn fat fast, you're going to want to stick to low-carb vegetables. Each one of your meals should include a protein source, a fat source, and a low-carb vegetable. Many people believe that in order to lose fat, you need to reduce the amount you consume to a minimum. This is not true. Cutting fats completely out of your diet will cause your body to retain the fat as a safety mechanism. The key is to stay away from saturated fats and instead incorporate good fats which are polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats like olive oil, avocados, nuts, and fatty fish, to name a few. When choosing protein sources, you want to pick ones low in saturated fat like lean beef, chicken, shrimp, eggs, and fish. Low-carb vegetables. There's plenty to choose from, but some of the best kinds are spinach, kale, broccoli, collard greens, and asparagus. Have you ever joined a gym and stopped going, but still kept paying the dues? Have you ever lost the motivation to continue soon after you joined? Have you ever wanted to be someone that follows through in your fitness goals? Have you been struggling with trying to get in shape? Feelings of intimidation to work out in your gym? Have you been struggling with motivation to get in shape? Or maybe actually joining a gym or a health club? Have you been struggling with finding a good workout partner or finding a great personal trainer? Do you want to be able to feel better, move better, look better? Do you want to be able to truly succeed in any health club or gym you join? Hi, I'm Bobby, and if you answered yes to any of the previous questions, then this is the perfect course for you. I'm a fitness enthusiast, and I've been in the gym since 1986. I've also worked in and out of large and small gyms, so I've dealt with people from the very beginning all the way up to the pro athlete. People who've never walked into a gym before and didn't know where to start, all the way up to just helping those guys who already know what to do get the most out of what they were trying to accomplish. I found specific actions that certain people use to get successful results in the gym anytime that they wanted to. And what I want you to do right now is click the Take This Course button right now. Click the button, come on inside, get to know a little bit about me, and then let's get to work. I want to teach you what you need to know. And I set this course up in such a fashion for you to sit back, relax, and take in this information. And what's important, I'm going to teach you how to take action. So go ahead, click the Take This Course button now, and I'll see you on the inside. Take care. Congratulations on taking action. Welcome to the club. You are head and shoulders above most people that never take action. Now I want to take a quick moment to give you some insight as to how this program is put together. You're going to notice that it's set up in a very easy to watch and listen format for you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy the information as it's given to you. I'm very proud of my work and the way it's delivered, so please enjoy that as well. Now at the end of this course, you're going to find all this information in an MP3 format. So I encourage you to download that on your cell phone or your MP3 player 
and listen to that because you'll be able to get your own visions in your mind while you do so. And also, at the very bottom, this entire course is in a PDF. I think you're going to enjoy the cartoons I put in there as well. And if you enjoyed this program, please leave me a nice review. Not just for myself, but for anybody else that wants to come here and take a look to see if anybody has gained some value. I'll also encourage you to please give me your success stories too as time progresses. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this information. And I want to congratulate you once more on taking action. I look forward to serving you, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care. Why is this important? Well, let me ask you a question. Are you thinking of joining a gym? Have you joined a gym in the past but long quit before you ever reached your fitness goals? Are you currently a gym member but can't get yourself motivated to work out consistently? Maybe you've been going to the gym for some time but find yourself doing the same old workouts over and over with no real passion anymore? If you said yes to any of the above questions, then this program can help you find that motivation and help you get the results that you joined the health club for in the first place. And if you're new to gyms or health clubs and you've never had a gym membership before, then this is the perfect start. Most people wait until New Year's to join the gym. Maybe you've seen them or maybe you know someone like that personally. In most cases, they get the gym membership and initially are very excited, but only after a few months that something shifts inside them and they stop going to the gym altogether and in some cases still paying their monthly dues and not even going. I want you to remember that you started for a reason and this program will help you uncover your reason why, understand the gym's amenities and their benefits to you so you can finally get awesome results. What you will find in the program is how to discover what your health club or gym has to offer, the benefits of what is available to you, how to learn all the tools needed to get and stay focused, uncover your driving wants that got you started in the first place, learn how to use those driving wants to your advantage, discover knowing what to do and learn how to do what you know. How to get the most out of your health club investment because that's what that is. Your gym membership is a health investment. Proper gym etiquettes and you're going to learn so much more. Assemble your gear. Set out prepared and proceed with passion. Robert J. Minnelli. When training in a gym or a health club, there are certain tools that come in handy to help you prosper in training and help you get great results. For example, towel. It's a simple thing, right? Well, having a towel or two of your own while working out is such a great idea for you and others. Use a small towel to wipe away the sweat from your head or for comfort and for the other wiping down stuff where you sweat on. So one for yourself and one for the stuff that you sweat on. And be sure to check out the previous module on proper gym etiquette. Gloves. Some people like to use them, some don't. It's really a personal preference. The benefits are when using gloves while working out is that you don't have to worry so much about painful calluses. They also help some people get a better grip with the weights or when doing pull-ups. Wraps. Now, there are two kinds of wraps. The first is for ailments and keeping various parts of the wrapped areas from further damage. The second is for stabilizing joints for increased intensity like heavy wrapping the knees for squats would be a good example.
Proper workout attire. We touched base on the type of clothing that isn't appropriate proper attire in the etiquette module. What is a good idea are loose fitting sweats and tops. Uh, you wear this type of clothing when you work out because it allows for free movement and for your body to breathe while you raise the body's temperature during your workouts. For women, having the proper sports bra that will support without binding is very important. Personal music. When you watch a movie, what do you think it would be like if the movie you were watching didn't have any music playing at all throughout the whole thing? The experience wouldn't be quite the same, would it? So when you're adding music to your workouts, it's giving you an added elements and dimensions which allow you to choose the level of which your mind will push your body. Everyone has their own kind of music that gets them excited and makes them want to get up and move. So take some time and put together your own playlist of music and songs that take you out of the ordinary and thrust you into the extraordinary. Done correctly, you will astonish yourself as you press on in your workouts like never before. Weight belts. Using a weight belt is for supporting your back, not for helping you suck in your gut. That stated, a properly tightened belt helps to keep the pressure off your spine and keeps your spine from bending inwards and at the same rate, keeps your stomach pulled in. A weight belt is very rigid and is usually made out of leather but can be made from a durable nylon as well. And be sure to write your name and phone number on the inside of the belt in case you ever leave it behind and lose it. A good weight belt isn't cheap and you'll up your chances of getting it returned back to you that way. Proper shoes. This is a very important part of your workout gear. Usually, cross-training shoes will be the best option, but if you're doing advanced and athletic activities like racquetball or running, then you would be wise to spend a little bit more money for these types of specialty shoes. Talk with your shoe salesman and tell them what kind of workout routine you'll be getting involved with. As a professional in the field, they should be able to guide you to the right shoe and the right fit. And might I just add again that wearing sandals to the gym is just not the right thing to do. Although you may not be prohibited from doing it at some gyms, it's just not proper attire for training and, and may cause an injury and hinder your workouts in the long run. Myth. Eating a couple times a day will help me to lose weight. Truth. Doing that is wrong. The human body, no matter what you think, works best when eating every two to three hours. Think grazing and be smart about the quality of your foods as well. Five to six small meals per day will keep your body from thinking it's starving. Thus, trick it into not storing fat to survive. Do yourself a favor and talk more about this with a personal trainer or a licensed nutritionist. Myth. Drinking too much water will make my body start to retain water. Here's the truth. Just the opposite. It's like starving the body by not eating more frequently, causing the body to store fat to survive. Only drinking, say, four glasses of water daily makes the body retain water to protect itself against dehydration. If you drink eight to 12 glasses a day, the body will realize that water is abundant and will help to flush out and clean toxins from your body. Myth. Certain foods will actually burn fat and make you lose weight. Truth is, there's no foods that will help you burn fat. Some may contain caffeine that may speed up your metabolism for a short time, but they do not cause weight loss. Myth. Eating red meat is unhealthy. Truth. Eating red meat in small amounts can be part of a healthy diet. But choose meats that are lower in fat and just basically trim off all visible fat before you eat it. Myth. Eating carbohydrates will make you fat. 
Well, the truth is, cutting carbs from your diet may have a short-term weight loss benefits due to the water loss from the decrease in carbohydrate storage, but understand that eating carbs in moderation does not directly lead to weight gain. Myth. Dairy products are unhealthy and fattening. Here's the truth. Low-fat, fat-free milk, yogurt, and cheese are just as nutritious as whole milk dairy products, but they are lower in fat and calories. Dairy products have many nutrients your body needs. They offer protein to build muscles and help organs work properly, and calcium to strengthen bones. Most milk and some yogurt are fortified with vitamin D to help your body utilize calcium. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Some people dream of success while you're going to wake up and work hard at it. Nothing is impossible! You should get to the point where anyone else would quit and you're not going to stop there! No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! Stop giving up.